tensions have escalated in Canada after there are reported attacks against Hindus by pro-Khalistani elements where Indian High Commission in Ottawa has also expressed concern. Now joining me for a further con uh, conversation and in fact the stand on what has been happening in Canada against Hindus is Manjeet Singh GK who is a former president of Delhi Sikh Gurdwara Committee as well and has been an active uh, speaker on what has been the condition of in Indians and Hindus in Canada. Thank you for speaking to us, sir. What has been your stand of the kind of attack that has happened on Sunday? And how do you view this in the security and the safety of the Indians who are presently in Canada? Uh, I think uh, it is uh, not right what, what has been going on in Canada. And secondly, it is not only on Hindu temple that uh, they have gone for the protest. They also went on the uh, Khalsa Sikh Divan, the oldest Gurdwara on Ross Street, where these uh, 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 Khalistani supporters, they went there to protest because the Indian High Commission consulate members have been visiting that place for some certificate distribution. The thing is that you have a right to ask for Khalistan, nobody is stopping you. But to create violence, and go to the, uh, uh, these religious places, may it be a Gurdwara or a Mandir. Mm -hmm. This is not acceptable, number one. Secondly, you are towing the, the Sikh for Justice people, they are towing the agenda of uh, ISI from Pakistan. Mm -hmm. We have problems with the government, we are fighting in this country, Sajjan Kumar is already in jail, we are fighting for 1984 uh, justice and many other issues which we have with the government, but under the Constitution we are fighting and we are on the roads also, we are protesting also, but doing violence will never be tolerated, will never be tolerated. And those who, has done, who have done it, I think there are people behind them, there are governments behind them because Canada and America, they are both going for elections, they are around the corner. So what kind of politics is going on, we are also uh, not understanding that why they are not being punished, those people who do violence, who create violence, goes to places like these, they should be taken to task by the land of the law. Why police is not active the way it should be? As Indian government is completely clear and very stringent on these kind of extremist activities, but when we talk about Canada, there has been evidence on record and videos which we can see that how Canadian police has been selective in uh, attack or in even controlling the Hindus or the Indians here and not touching the extremist or the pro-Khalistani supporters in the videos. Do you feel that it is also at the behest of the government currently for the gain of election this all of this is being es escalated the thing is you are only talking about hindus there have been uh, assassinations in uh, canada and th those assassination is majorly of the sikh people and these uh, isi agents their name has been uh, coming in in, in those uh, this thing now, Canadian government has put allegation on Indian government also. That is the task of the Indian government and the Canadian government to come clean on all those issues. But I think the violence is against both. The Sikhs are also Indians, the Hindus are also Indians. The thing is that why police is not taking action, why police is uh, a, a silent uh, 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 spectator and not uh, taking action as per law in that country. Also, in the further reaction of uh, this entire controversy, are you planning to reach out to the Indian government to s actually escalate the action over the security of all Indians in Canada? Because these kind of repeated attacks are becoming a thing as elections are coming closer and tomorrow and day after are going to be a big day for the United States. Are you going to take up the, take this thing with the Indian government? 100% the Indian government and the foreign ministry must take up this issue very seriously. Secondly, it is also responsibility of the Canadian government to reciprocate and ensure that the violence against the citizens, they are now Canadian citizens, they must be from the Indian origin. There are many people who have already had the passport of Canada. So it is their foremost duty that they should protect the rights of those people living over there, may it be Hindu, Sikh or Muslim, anybody. Hmm. So a letter can be yes. written? Yes, 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 we'll be approaching the government to take action 
and to ensure that their safety is the because there are there are lot of students who have gone to the universities and i think they are also uh, feeling scared about it and government must take care of this as you are already saying that there are people who are living in canada who have gone from india are feeling scared do you also think that this kind of an incident is going to have a bearing of people who are planning to go to abroad and specifically in canada and specifically from the sikh origin given the kind of uh, activities that are happening there and there is hardly any control from the canadian government over it the thing is that uh, it was uh, taken as granted that canada is the safest country and that very peaceful country now even in my families or in punjab we have roots people are rethinking that whether they should go to canada or no because the kind of law and order situation is there the kind of political turmoil between both the countries may it be india may it be canada is going on people are not happy and not comfortable and they are rethinking about it this was manjeet singh ji ke who is a former president of the delhi sikh gurdwara committee and in, f- in fact speaking about how india canada relations and the bilateral ties are having a great and direct impact on the indians planning to go to canada and also planning to settle given the kind of activities that are being promoted at the behest of the canadian government given the elections are just around the corner this is simran for news x with camera person suti For more such videos subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel hit the bell icon